Hello, in the last episode we created these rooms over here. Um, now we are going to be able to select them in this episode, but the key to doing that is allowing that particular camera to take control. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow tile select. We're not going to be calling it like that. Instead we're going to be waiting for the user to press the tab key. Later on we can make that customizable if we would, if we prefer. So if the user presses the tab key then we either summon or desummon us. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to write. There we go. So if we press tab while we're activated, then we deactivate. Otherwise, no. Otherwise, we activate and claim control. Easy enough, right? So let's go ahead and see how that works in practice. Oh. making stupid mistakes already. So here is how it is before we hit tab, then we hit tab, there they popped up, and you can see that we can't interact with that lower level anymore because we're stuck on this upper level. Later on we can actually make it so that it's got a lot more class to it uh, and, and uh, uh, you know, it'll fall through properly, but for now this is fine. And to press tab again, and it goes back to being editor to here, editing here, but these don't go away. So why is that? Why don't they go away? And the reason they don't go away is because distanciate tiles is broken. Oh, yep. Uh, when we say destroy instantiated tile zero, we're destroying a script uh, because we're not storing game objects. We're storing the script on the game object. So all we've done is told them they're not tiles anymore. So leave the mesh and the game object and the transform all there just make it so they're not tiles anymore. So obviously what we need to do is delete the game object and not the tile uh, script. So the tile script being deleted, there we are, see? So instead of deleting the tile script, we delete the whole object, which happens to include the tile script. But as you can see, we're not actually doing any kind of, uh, we don't have any ability to change this to be uh, what we want it to be. So how do we fix that? How do we make it so that we can have our um, our mouse cursor be a specific tile? Well, there's a lot of options. One option is to actually make the mouse cursor into a tile object. Um, I'm not going to do it like that. Instead, I'm going to have the active tile object pop up over here, but vanish when we're not uh, uh, when we're not actively able to place it. When we hit tab, for example, it'll go away and be replaced with this. So for that, we're going to go ahead and add in some stuff uh, here in the ship creation controller. Uh, uh. Here we are. So what we need to do is we need to sign up, we need to have it so that it pops up if it exists, and if it doesn't exist, it doesn't. So we need to have a new public void uh, assign cursor tile, tile, tile. We say cursor tile equals tile. And then we say, uh, we have first have to say if cursor tile does not equal null, then we have to destroy the old cursor tile. But you might remember, we have to actually destroy the game object, not just the script. Otherwise, we'll be stuck with a stack of cursors. So we're doing the exact same thing. Transform dot position plus transform dot forward times one plus uh, just that uh, plus transform dot right times eight uh, nine uh, 
plus transform dot up times eight. Okay. It's the exact same thing we did with the other camera. However, since this camera can move, we're actually going to go ahead and make the cursor tile a child of it. Uh, it can't move yet, but it will be able to move in the future. All right. So then over here in tile select, we have to make it so that we can select these tiles. So down here we say if iocon.activeController does not equal this, then return. Otherwise, what we need to do is check and see whether we clicked. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing that we do over here, like, uh, not there, here, in the ship creation controller. It's the exact same stuff. So just grab it all. Did I? Brilliant. So control V will paste it all. Um, and since we're using this variable rather than capital C camera dot main, uh, the fact that we're on a different camera makes it so this works just fine. Um, so uh, we don't need to worry about dehighlighting and we don't need to worry about any of that stuff. We just say if mouse uh, if input dot mouse button down zero, then we want to do uh, uh, ship creation controller. I just realized that we don't actually have any static object to do that with. Um, we don't have any way to grab the ship creation controller static object and tell it that we would like to assign a tile to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add uh, uh, some some delegates here. So public delegate void uh, tile uh, uh, tile event. Now we're going to do public tile, a uh, public static tile event uh, tile select, and then down here we're just going to say if tile select does not equal null, then call tile select with the tile that. Well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make this a little bit more. Let's clean this up a little bit here. If we've clicked and someone is listening for our click, then tell them that we've clicked that tile, and then make sure to remove the tile from our instantiated, uh, so instantiated tiles dot remove t, and that's because we don't want to delete it when we destantiate the tiles. Um, and we want to uh, set our controller to null and return. So what we've said is once you've clicked, uh, then close up shop. Uh, now one of the keys here is that we're doing this uh, really inappropriately if all we want to do is check for mouse clicks, because this will happen every frame while we're in control. Um, but this will only get called if someone clicks. But the reason we're doing that is that we'll, we'll eventually have a GUI object uh, that will pop up a description of the room when you're mousing over it. So there's no reason to have them separated. Let's go ahead and see if that works, shall we? Nope. Cursor.transform.parent equals transform. There, that's a problem. All right, so we actually need to um, sign up for that tile select function. We'll do that here. Isn't it not an event? Did I screw that up? There we go. There we go. And that means that we don't have to wait until tiles are instantiated. We don't have to worry about whether or not things are working properly um, on their end. We just sign up for it and wait for it to get back to us. Let's go ahead and see if that works. All right, so you see how we've got nothing selected. There's nothing ready. So we'll click here, and you can see that now it's uh, it's over there. And when we highlight it, it actually changes the uh, material's texture because it's considered a tile, and we don't make any distinction between this tile and these tiles. They are the same class, and there's no, di no distinction between them. All right, well, that's enough for this. Up oh, and just in case you're wondering, uh, See? 
So, uh, well, just in case you're wondering, uh, we will uh, uh, we'll want to actually hide this tile. We might as well do that now. When we hit tab, we want to make that tile go away. Um, there's a lot of ways of doing that. Uh, we're going to have to do this eventually. We might as well do it now. So over here in IOCon, we need to create some delegates. All right, so right now we have just put in place two static events which will call out every single time we change who the current static controller is. So um, here we say if value equals null, then uh, uh, if control changed to does not equal null, if control changed from does not equal null, then control changed from active controller. And that's the same down here and down here. And then we do the exact same thing here by saying if control changed to does not equal null, then control changed to active controller. Um, and as you may have noticed there's a pattern and it turns out that we don't have to worry about any outs being screwed up, so we can actually just put the, all of these things outside of these if statements. There's no reason to duplicate them three times. The only time when this uh, uh, might malfunction is if we actually call our self right here. So we're going to go ahead and take that and put it at the top. We can put it at the very top. All right. So now we've rearranged that function a little bit. And what we're going to do is down here in the ship creation controller, we're going to go ahead and sign up for them using two new public void um, hide cursor tile. Uh, public void show cursor tile. Public void. Um, control changed from, uh, and then we're going to have uh, our mono behavior. I couldn't remember the name there for a second. And control changed to two. If behavior equals this, then show cursor tile. And similarly, if behavior equals this, then hide cursor tile. So we say, if we're not the person who's being focused on, hide the cursor. If we are the person who's being focused on, show the cursor. And so to do that, we'll just need to have our cursor tile dot uh, 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 game object dot, uh, is it enable, uh, set, set active false. And here, cursor tile dot set active true. And we need to actually sign up for them. So here we do. Uh, iocon dot on dot did we not use of course that means that I've got to change it here too oh, I should have I should have properly done a a uh, a name change rather than doing it manually here All right, there we are. There we go. 
And uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and switch this here. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and see whether that works. And if so, that'll be all we need for the rest of the day. Uh, tile select does not... Well, what do you mean? You didn't capture it properly? Does not contain a def I know it doesn't contain a definition for tile. Oh, uh, when you refactor, it doesn't actually save the files that it automatically refactors. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hit tab. And you see how we got a null reference error? We need to fix that outlying point, because there are times when we don't have a cursor tile. But not exactly a huge issue. So hit tab, we'll select this guy, and then we'll hit tab, and you see it goes away. And we'll hit tab, and it comes back. And we can change. Pretty magical. Alright, I'll see you next time.